guys doing welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is violet thank you so much for stopping by so i'm going to breathe in and out before we start this video because it's a very sensitive topic yeah so let's do this okay guys I can't believe I'm seated here to do this video again. And I remember, I think a year ago, I sat down and told you how I struggled to gain weight. Like I really struggled because all my life I've been skinny. So I finally um, gained weight and I was happy with the, um, my body like i was so happy i wasn't like planning to lose weight or anything you know i was just okay doing fine you know <laughs> but things happen in life and there's nothing you can do about it when they happen okay you just have to live with them uh this year has not been a good year for me guys because i've been in and out of the hospital like uh the whole year by the way so four months ago I got ill. I was very sick, you guys, and I, I kept ignoring because I was feeling I had this bad migraines. I was feeling nauseated, but I just like ignore, like you know, like ah, it's nothing. It will probably go away, but it didn't. So one evening, it was on a Sunday. I had just done eating uh, my dinner, and I started feeling bad. I had uh, gas mob katumbo. And for me, Nikki wanna guess no longer what did I eat during the what I ate lunch time, you know, things like those because I know Nikki to win and happen here. Then I kept drinking. I came and sat down here and then I felt a reflux, like heartburn in between my breasts. I was like I panicked by the way. And then I called my mom. I told her eh, uh, how I was feeling and she was like, I was like telling her I'm going to the hospital like right now. It was in the middle of the night She was like, no, try and sleep. If it doesn't go away, we'll go tomorrow morning and I was like, okay, let me go and sleep. So I went and slept and then I woke up in the morning and it was worse I didn't want to sleep. I didn't want to sit. I was just like pacing around and uh, I could feel my heart beat I could even see it I was like, no, let me go to the hospital. It was on a Monday morning, so I called for an Uber. I went to Coptic. I was feeling very sick, very bad, you guys. Uh, when I got there, the queue was long. I couldn't believe. I wasn't feeling like sitting down. I wasn't feeling like sleeping. I was just like pacing around because I want to see the doctor. I want them to tell me what's wrong with me so that I can start medication and feel better immediately. So uh, the doctor was just like passing there, I was just like pacing around and I was like, doctor, I need help. This is an emergency. I'm feeling very bad. I need help. And he was like, okay, I can help you. Come with me. So we went to his office and uh, I told him how I was feeling and he was like, okay, I'm going to uh, take some tests. Like we are going to test for pregnancy. We're going to test for HIV. I was like okay sure so they tested and uh, re the results came negative and then he sent me to see the nurse the nurse to take my vitals so i went there my weight was okay because i was at 69 at that time so that was okay and then uh after the doctor the nurse has had taken my vitals he uh, she started asking me um have you ever been close to someone uh, that has tb i was like no but if i have don't even know i was just like no in your family has anyone ever died of a heart attack i was like no i don't know even if there is i don't know i was raised by a single mom the side of my dad i don't know if there's someone who died there because of a heart attack and i was like why is she asking me all this question what is wrong why what are you seeing that you're not telling me you know and then she was like okay now you'll go and see the doctor so from the nurse's office i went to see the doctor so i went and sat down and the queue was long so i had to sit and wait for my turn 
So my son came, I went to see the doctor and that was like, uh, I went there at 8 a.m. and that was like at uh, 12 p.m. is when I was seeing the doctor. I was sick. I was just feeling sick. Ile imagines, you know, I'm not eating, I can't even eat. So I am I am hungry, but I can't eat. Tumbi me fura kabisa, hukubwa. So I went and saw the doctor and the doctor, I told the doctor how I was feeling and he was like, okay, I'm going to send you to the lab uh, so that we can test your stool and know what's wrong uh, in the stomach. So he was like, okay, sure. So I went to the lab, uh, I gave them my stool to test. They take your stool and your blood. So they took my blood and my stool and I was told to wait for two hours. Me, the results will be ready after two hours. I was like, wait, two hours. I was feeling sick, like, I just want to get out of there and I want to make sick. Immediately, like, immediately. So I waited for my two hours. My two hours finally came and the results were out. And the doctor gave me, you guys, if you've been to Coptic, you know, like, the, the, the lab is just up or first floor. So, me to my stairs coming down, just to go through the results to know what is wrong with me so everything was like negative 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 h pylori positive was like what is h pylori like that is the first time i am hearing about h pylori like what is that i was like okay it's fine let me go take these results to the doctor for him to explain what is wrong because i don't know so well, I went and waited for the doctor. The doctor will call me break for lunch. He went for a whole one hour. So I had to wait for him. Torture. That was torture. Waiting for the doctor to come. Okay. The doctor finally came. And uh, I gave him the results. And he was like, oh, okay. You tested positive for H. pylori. I was like, what is that? And he told me, it's a bacteria. Na nikawambia. How did I get it? How do one get it? He was like, uh, you can get it through drinking contaminated water, contaminated food. I was like, I'm very careful with my food. I refill water. I boil water before drinking. I cook my own food. I don't eat outside. That's a no-no for me. I cook my own meals. Me, I don't eat in hotels, by the way, you guys. I don't because I know I, um, the problem I have. You know, like, I've been um, an ulcer patient for a very long time, like, 10 years now, okay? So I know I can't just eat anywhere. I choose where to eat. And I prefer home-cooked meals, by the way. So he was just like, yeah, that's how you get it. And he was like, everyone, like, everyone has H. pylori, yeah? It's in the stomach. But they thrive for acidic environment, okay? So since... Uh, mimi na kwanga na yoshi daya gas gas zili zaana na zikisha zaana they eat um, the stomach wall okay <laughs> I, I asked him can you treat it like is it treatable and he was like yeah it is uh, I'll, I'm going to write you medicine you go by you take for two weeks and then after that you take acid blockers for a whole man and then yeah, once you're done with acid blockers, you come, we test again to see if it's gone. I was like, okay, sure. So I went, got the kit and the acid blockers. I came back home. Guys, remember, this medicine is not cheap. I asked him, how much is the medicine again? He told me it's around 7,000 to 8,000. The kit alone, not the acid blockers. <laughs> I was like, okay. So I went and bought the kit and as it blockers, I came back home. I took the, uh, the kit for 14 days, that's two weeks. And yeah, once I was done taking the, you know, you take the kit and acid blockers and then when you're done with the kit, you continue with the acid blockers for uh, a month. So uh, I continue with the acid blockers for a month and then after a month, the pain came back. I didn't get it. So I went back to the hospital. But this time round, a different hospital. I went to AR. 
and the doctor was like explaining um the bacteria is still there uh you need to take the kit again maybe when you're taking the first kit you didn't change your diet i was like was i supposed to change the diet the first doctor did not explain to me that i need to change my diet and i told him this is the first time i'm hearing about this i've never been a patient of H. pylori i've never um been close to someone who had H. pylori this is the first time i'm hearing about it by the way and he was like okay so this is what you're going to do i'm going to give you the kit again you're going to take for two weeks and then you take the acid blockers for a month and then you come back we test if it's going remember this medicine is not cheap by the way so i have to buy and take them again for another under the acid blockers one you take one tablet every day and one tablet is 250 one tablet and you have to take them for one month two weeks mm -hmm. Because when you're taking the kit, you take the acid blockers, and then when you're done with the kit, you continue with the acid blockers for a month. And then he explained, avoid things that triggers acidity. Avoid carbonated drinks. Avoid tomato. Avoid coffee. Avoid tea leaves. Avoid vegetables that triggers acidity. Avoid, stay away from skumawiki, kale, that is. I was like, what am I going to eat? Avoid milk, avoid beans, avoid all those. Hey. Now, what am I going to eat? Because I'm supposed to avoid everything. I can't eat protein. So, I was like, okay. I came back home with the second kit. I sat down. I sat down on this couch and I was like, okay. Come on, Nibaya, Nibaya. I'm going to, to take this kit and I'm going to eat cabbage and ugali, cabbage and rice every single day. I didn't want to take that kit again. So, in the morning you take three, in the evening you take three plus acid, acid blockers. I was like, if this is what it takes, I will do it and I lose weight within two weeks four kgs going another two weeks four kgs going but what do you expect I am not eating protein I am not eating vitamins I'm just eating boring food for my breakfast I used to take arrowroot drinking chocolate or washing. I was told to stay away from alcohol, cigarettes. Okay, well, I don't smoke, but yeah, if you're out there and you're suffering from this bacteria, stay away. If you're taking the kit, if you take the kit and continue smoking or drinking, it will not go away, okay? So stay away from those things until you finish the kit. So yeah, just I've been only taking water. Hmm? Only take water. Don't take it as disorder nini. Avoid them. Stay away from them. And guys, hey, that was hard. I'd cook food, put it on the table, and cry sometimes. I even did want to hear my neighbor is cooking something nice. Like when you're going uh, up the stairs and if you start smelling the aroma of nice food being cooked somewhere, I didn't want to feel that. I'd see people buying kale, kwakibanda, and I'll envy them. I'll be like, hey, area wanenda kukanga yosukumu wakule na ugali. It was that bad. And you feel bad. You feel like you're going to die. That this That bacteria is bad. And Nimiskia Kuneo outbreak. Yeah, your bacteria. Outbreak young H. pylori. People have been suffering from it. Oh, I've been seeing on TikTok people complaining. Yeah, the side effects are very bad. You lose weight, anxiety. Um, you feel all 
una una feel it from going to a serious like you feel like you're gonna have a heart attack you know things like those it's bad and that's because gatiako and you need to heal it and how do you heal it by avoiding things that triggers acidity at least that's what i know from what i've learned what i've googled what i've been eating because right now i think i'm feeling better i think it's going once the bacteria is going it takes like um you'll you'll feel better completely better after three months by the way three months and your gut because when it's going it doesn't mean you feel uh you feel better immediately because imeta wounds imeta vidonda kwa tumbo yako they need to heal that's why you need to continue with a healthy diet until you have i think just give it 6 months <laughs> me I was like i'll just give it 6 months to eat healthy uh, i've not like been taking things like sodas you know carbonated drinks no alcohol me at insumbuangi by the way things like alcohol and insumbuangi so that thing i've just been taking like water all through and i've been trying to eat healthy i've been trying to use olive oil to cook and also ghee ghee is very nice yeah they the smell is oh the taste is oh but it's better compared to normal oil okay so yeah that has been my journey and i uh, thank god i'm feeling better right now because well i thought i was going to die it was that bad hmm? you have all the bad signs of our attack when you have that bacteria it's a very bad bacteria by the way once the bacteria is gone appetite yako inakuja like right now appetite yangu ni like i eat a lot nowadays like i just want food 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 that's just it Thank you so much for watching and I hope this helps someone out there who is suffering from the same disease. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.